Here's a, here's another one with two pieces. You got one here, one there with two pieces or three pieces of connective tissue. That one, that one, and that one crossing over into the other one. And this is sandstone in between them all. Not granite, not diorite. See this piece of connected tissue running into that piece? Right here. Here's the other piece right here. And it runs over and runs up into that piece. See, all connective tissue is connected. That's how everything's stabilized. But that's what that is. That's a piece of connective tissue. Piece running, a strap there, a strap there, and a strap here. Okay. Okay, look at this. We got a membrane here. This is a membrane. And you got that one coming from over there, crossing into this one. Sandstone, which is flesh here. Membrane here. From that membrane to that membrane. Sandstone and flesh. That membrane coming across here and going across into this membrane. This big one. Right into there. And you got another membrane coming from that membrane across here and coming into there more sandstone and flesh another big membrane here coming from there and that piece of membrane coming off of there tying into that piece and going on over and twisting into there and this is flesh here another piece of flesh on this side of the membrane and then a big old membrane running over there look at this man one two there's no way this is by chance are you kidding me? You, did you see this? This is incredible. This is no way is this volcanism, man. He's, they're clueless, man. Their theory, their, their base theory on geology is wrong. Okay? On evolutionary volcanism. It's wrong. Man, look at that. Big old piece there. And these, these pieces tying into it. How can anybody deny this? This is not just, oh man, they just pooped it out like that spacing like this this is connective tissue look at this tied together here and that one run across over there and that one run across over there and sandstone not diorite not granite not igneous intrusive basalt like they say 100 percent wrong it's in sandstone and sandstone cannot transition from diorite or granite impossible doesn't happen that way so their theory i just proved one billion percent wrong 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 look at that piece going through there they are so wrong and we're back up on top of this big old chunk see that's why it's all eroded out it's sandstone it never was diorite or granite never was igneous intrusive basalt with fissures and then have magma punching up through it and then forming this way because of crystallization and pressure but yet the sandstone never did nothing <laughs> the silicates the quartz and stuff in the sandstone if there's extreme pressure and heat would do something think about that if it's going to do something to this it would do something to the sandstone look at this it just blows my mind how wrong they are man James Hutton was one billion percent wrong on his theory and they latched on to it and went with it and they're wrong Yes, yeah, ran across all this here This piece here see and This is all sandstone Sandstone It runs right on here into a that piece is busted out eroded out but it runs into this piece four-way and there is no way this poured from the bottom up this and this is not igneous intrusive basalt wow some of it's harder and some softer towards the middle <laughs> anyway look at that in there and that's another big one right there running clear out in there 
Okay, I promised you some more old red sandstone, which is blood. And I was going to try to find some black vein blood down here if I can. Another one here. Another one right beside it. You got the sandstone, which is flesh, separating two. So you got connective or flesh, connective tissue, flesh, connective tissue, flesh, connective tissue, flesh. Okay, which is sandstone, not even used to of basalt with fissures in it, like they say. A <laughs> theory. <laughs> More here. Big piece going right across, tying into that big piece. Another small piece here, tying into this piece and that piece. And you got flesh on the left, flesh on the right, and another piece of connective tissue. Now we're walking over a bunch of it too by the way here we're running into some some bloodier stuff okay this whole thing is a membrane from clear over there to over here and you got flesh which is sandstone right there and you can see with your own eyes it's not igneous intrusive basalt which would be stuff like granite or diorite this would be sedimentary Where'd all the diorite and all the granite or whatever go? It's all gone. How did it erode when it's softer than that? It's the same hardness as that, but yet it's all gone. Almost the same hardness. I think it's a little harder. And this is all sandstone. They are so wrong on this. So wrong. And if it would have punched up through, if this, if this intrusive, it will it'd be magma under the surface magma. If it punched up through this sandstone, it'd be a disaster. You guys know that. It'd blow it all to pieces, plus the pressure and the heat, like they say, it wouldn't be transitioned like this. They're totally wrong. Now look at this down here. It's just all over the place. Real strappy piece here. Real strappy and bloody, okay? Real strappy and bloody. How come it's all red sandstone like this? When it, they say it's supposed to be igneous intrusive basalt. It shouldn't be sedimentary like this. See what I'm saying? Yeah, it's starting to rain. I'm gonna get out of here. I think you're getting the idea though. more over there this old red bloody sandstone it's got one more molecule of oxygen I believe what's going on okay everything's eroded and gone and so you got the real tough strappy stuff left behind which would be your connective tissue in the flesh okay so their theory on this being igneous intrusive basalt with fissures cracked open and punched up through it with more igneous intrusive basalt is wrong that whole thing is a membrane coming down into here how big it is all right so we got old red sandstone here even which we bloody see that 
Fe203. One more molecule of oxygen. And then we're gonna look at some vein blood over there where I know there's blood spray. This is all biological. I just proved their geological theory 100% wrong. We're standing on top of one membrane, sandstone with a piece of membrane in it, sandstone there. All the rest of sandstone's eroded and gone down to that level. Where's all the igneous intrusive basalt they're talking about? Look at all the membranes out in there, the big one running that direction. Another one crossing into it, another one crossing into it. Two more coming to a V crossing into it and one down there. 